a few words in English. Good afternoon. We uh, may see the light at the end of the tunnel, but we must continue to do everything we can to win the battle against the virus. We must also prepare the restart of our economy. Our uh, Minister of Labor, Jean Boulet, uh, later this afternoon will announce a new program that will help companies train their employees to new technologies, to new organization. And I repeat my three priorities to protect ourselves. Don't go out unless it's necessary. If you do go out, keep your distances. And when you come back home, wash your hands. That, that's how we'll save lives. Thank you. Um, good afternoon. I have, um, Mr. Arruda, I have the impression that uh, basically what you think and what Premier Legault thinks about uh, the projections tomorrow, uh, I have the impression that you don't like it at all. It's going to be a long night, and it's damn if you do, damn if you don't. But for, me, for you, Premier, uh, it's more a question of giving this information, and you have the impression that Quebecers will take these numbers and react well. I just I have the impression that there is like a, uh, like a clash between you two regarding the projections. Tomorrow. There is no clash at all, I can say. I know that he's asking for good questions that I would like as a scientific person giving the right number. Even my staff or the people working with us are always afraid to send a number because there is too much march of minimum and maximum. And we are still in a place where projections could be projections. And, you know, and as we are rigorous persons, selling that number that will be print and that day Dr. Rabuda or the, this expert this, did that will be challenged. But I think it's normal that people want to have information. We will give the best we can with, I would say, the cautions that we want to say about, about, about it. So it's not because I want to, first of all, my only thing I think is important is to really make what is good to do at the right time, at the right moment. We've made very, we were very uh, early in the epidemic to do those social distancing issues, closing. For me, that's the action, the treatment I'm giving. What is going to happen tomorrow is I'm looking at it, but it's not my perfect focus, actually. But we will do it. The boss is asking it. Is the prime minister. We will give him the best information, but we don't want to give him something which is not enough scientific, okay? And I'm forcing my people to project, to accept it, okay? So we will do that. Is the big boss is taking the good decisions? We just want to give him the right scenarios. And I'm working, I'm, I'm in between Premier Legault, our scientific people, the population, the media, and don't think I'm um, against scenarios. That's not the case. It's just because it's not an easy question. And I don't want to also give numbers just for giving numbers. That's, that's the case. Okay. Uh, I had this situation before in my life. Uh, when I was uh, president of Air Transat, preparing budget for the next year, I used to have this kind of answer saying, hey, how do you want me to have a, a forecast for the next 12 months about our revenues or about our expenses? But it's better for me to have a, a forecast that is not perfect than not to have any forecast. But I can understand that it's not easy for Dr. Arruda and his team to commit on different scenarios, not knowing perfectly what will happen in the next few weeks. So I can understand. But I think my job as a Premier of Quebec, if we want to be prepared for uh, the worst scenario, we need to know where it can go in the next weeks and months. Second okay. question. Um, uh, Mr. Arruda uh, or Mrs. McCann, uh, when um, Dr. Tam said uh, earlier uh, today that she is giving this advice to uh, people to wear a mask in public spaces where uh, distancing may be difficult, public transit is, a, is an example, she's referring to pre-symptomatic or asymptomatic carriers, that there are many, we don't know exactly how many, 
So that may be a trick, but then she has the same type of, uh, you know, she, she wants people to take precautions. So uh, are we going to see more masks in Quebec wear by, worn by different people? Mihai? Yes. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. So first of all, I'm part of the CCMOH of Canada, so we are cons uh, working with Dr. Tam, which is at the Agency of Canada, so we are working. I've got the draft here, okay? He has been so... Uh, what I want to say is that what is, it doesn't change my position at all, and I didn't say that it's not good at all. I just want to make sure. It's very important to understand that the proven things are staying home as much as possible, physical distancing, washing your hands, washing your hands, washing your hands. Even if you get a mask, you wash your hands. Protecting the most vulnerable from infection and exposure to others, and covering your cough with tissue or your sleeves. When you're going to put uh, in the masks for the surgical masks are for healthcare workers, not for everybody in, in the city. If you have a mask, it's not for pr protecting yourself. It's for protecting others, like if you use a tissue, sneeze it, put it out, I wash your hands, wash your hands, and wash your hands. And then what you do? Then uh, if you have a mask, you're going to not spill it to others, but be careful. If you have a mask, you touch it, you take it away, put that down, contaminate it, put it in your eyes, you're not helping yourself, okay? If you're sick, you're already sick. But for the ones who think they're going to be protected by the mask, that's not the case. So it's like you can do it, especially if social distancing is not possible for a short period of time. Not, yeah, it's almost very difficult to have a mask all the day. I can, if you want to be a champion, do it, and you're going to be in records of, uh, I don't know, the, the book uh, of the record. So what I want to tell you is that if you want to get keep, keep it and go, you're sick, it's another way to do it. But don't think that it's going to protect you from others' infection. It must be very tight. You must have a good tissue. If it's humid, it's not working anymore. So I won't say don't use it. Use it, but be careful. I'm not thinking it's protecting you. It's good for protecting others. And be careful for not touching everything. And because of your mask, you're going you're gonna to be infected. So it's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm, I'm not against. I'm signing and authorizing this proposition. But I want just people to understand what does it mean. Thank you. So we need to accelerate. Samuel Pouliot, CTV. Um, hi. Uh, Mr. Legault, uh, according to Google, the vast majority of Quebecers are respecting physical distancing rules. But on Saturday in Montreal, there was a lot of people who were close to each other. There was uh, the police uh, given some fines to people. Uh, what message do you have to Quebecers as the weather starts warming, warming up? Uh, uh, the message I have for Quebecers is uh, it's a question of respect. The vast majority of Quebecers respect the uh, directives uh, that uh, we've uh, asked them to follow. So please, the minority not respecting that may have a uh, very uh, bad impact on the number of deaths. So uh, I think it's a question of respect, respecting your neighbors, respecting everybody. It's serious. And uh, Le Regroupement des Sages Femmes du Québec is asking you to take a clear position against the Jewish General Hospital, uh, their decision to prevent uh, partners of attending birth. Um, there's a petition online calling for an end to the ban. And uh, last week, the governor of New York uh, overturned a similar de decision uh, of an hospital in their state. Okay. Uh, will you do the same here and overturn the decision of the hospital? Okay. I think that with the uh, great number of cases at the uh, Jewish hospital, I think it's a good decision to have uh, nobody uh, with uh, women. Uh, that are coming to deliver. But we offer all those women to go to another hospital. And it's the only hospital in Quebec uh, where we have this directive. So I think it's fair and it's reasonable. 
Thank you very much. Uh, so we'll switch to questions sent by email. The first one is from uh, Raquel Fletcher, Global News. Some companies like gyms, for instance, continue to take money from people even though they are closed. Can the government force companies who are closed to stop taking monthly payments? We would need to uh, see that one by one, but for me, it's not a priority right now to look at those uh, situations. Okay, and uh, will the National Assembly stay closed past April uh, 21st, or are you looking at a type uh, of a virtual assembly like uh, what Mr. Trudeau suggested for Ottawa? It will be part of the discussions. Uh, I've got a phone uh, conference call this afternoon with the uh, three chiefs of the opposition, and it will be part of the uh, discussion. All right, and now a question from Phil Oti, Montreal Gazette. Uh, we are getting calls from families with parents in the CHSLD who wants to move a parent or grandparent out of the center. Under the rules, uh, they will uh, lose their rooms. Uh, is uh, there any flexibility to this policy? Well, uh, it's a delicate operation eh, to, to bring a, a, a parent out of a long-term facility, and there are other conditions like uh, that the, 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 the person is not in a long-term facility where there is uh, an eclosion. There are cases of uh, COVID-19 um, and other conditions, too. Um, there is a very big demand of uh, places in long-term facilities, and uh, what we've mentioned also is that if you take your parent or your family member to your home, uh, it has to be for the, the time of the <coughs> pandemic. So it could be for a long time. So it's I think we, we're choosing uh, uh, the best option is to, to give uh, the opportunity to somebody else who needs a room uh, in a long-term facility in the meantime because the time of the pandemic uh, might be long. So uh, I know it's uh, very, uh, it's not easy uh, to make that decision, but unfortunately I think we have to go that way to give uh, really uh, the opportunity for other people who need it to have the room. Thank you. And again, uh, I think you already answered, uh, but concerning the Jewish General Hospital, just to make it clear, uh, you're not planning to, to are, are you planning to review this policy uh, or extend it to other hospitals to make uh, the policy universal for all uh, concerning uh, women that are upset with uh, the no partner rule uh, in the maternity war? Well, I think uh, we need, as the Prime Minister said, we need to be very clear that uh, this is uh, only at the Je uh, Jewish General Hospital. So in all the rest of Quebec, in all the other hospitals, people can be accompanied by uh, the, the partner or somebody else, of course, under conditions uh, that uh, they're not symptomatic, they haven't been in contact with somebody who is symptomatic, take all the precautions because, of course, uh, it has, we have to be very protective of the rest of the people, especially in the hospital and uh, the staff. Uh, so what, uh, what we're saying today is uh, all across Quebec, it's the same policy as before. The Jewish General has a special situation. That's where we have the most uh, COVID-19 cases, for instance. So uh, I think it's going to remain like this. Well, thank you very much. Merci tout le monde. Merci pour votre disponibilité. À demain. Merci. À demain. À demain. À demain.